for those of you dreamers out there, intuitive based, spiritual, highly spiritual, highly connected to the extra dimensional communication of the universe, for those people who dive into that very regularly, and specifically, I think there is a connection with this time of year when you have to huddle up inside, at least Northern Hemisphere, huddle up inside in the winter, less daylight, less physical time to do things. You really have to come in and be geared with yourself. And that's why I think some people have trouble in winter when they aren't connected in the same way of, of, of internal sense, right? You know, a lot of people who stay around warm climates can just more so... I don't want to say ignore because it's all for a purpose, but so the struggle and the challenge with dreaming, when you get over stimulated energetically, and this is, this has happened to me and this is the reason why I'm making this video over the past couple of weeks, I've been realizing the challenges. I've been realizing the learning opportunities and I've been meditating two, three times a day when most of the time I rarely meditate more than once a day. So my body has become very exhausted of the energy and the intensity at which connecting with spirituality brings. So as a result, I haven't been able to, I haven't felt the, the sense, you know, maybe I've been able to, right? We're always connected in some situational sense, but I haven't been able to feel driven to meditate because when I close my eyes or when I listen to astral or when I listen to meditation music, or anything like that there's a great intensity inside I, there's visualizations instantly there's so much connection but it's almost as if it's too overwhelming to the point where my internal energy is like spazzing out where it's really uncomfortable so what ends up happening is i i have to be physical right in my physical mind without the intuitive connection is like oh my god oh my god i'm lost right because dreamers, they're so intuitively connected that when you go back into the physicality, the physical mind is not made to interpret intuitional states at all, right? The physical mind is only there to recognize that there is something here, there's something there, everything corresponding to the limitations of physicality. That is what the physical mind does. It is not meant to interpret the complexity of the universe. So what ends up happening in the challenge is, again, that you have to calm yourself down. Don't worry about the lack of connection. And this is the reason that there's such a sense and such a balance, a yin and yang of sorts, of dreamers and grounded people, of super earthy, to the ground, earthy, naturalist, vibing off physicality people and dreamers because they really balance each other out. There's a sense of dreaminess, there's a sense of fantasy, there's a sense of energetic connection, but at the same time there's a sense of, okay, when it's not there, this person's here to help you to just, it's okay, right? They do it for you in a sense. So there's that, there's that pull to be in relationships in that common sense. So what can you do? What can you do if you don't have somebody, right? That's the challenge. The challenge is to be within yourself, but at the same time, not within yourself because it's a little bit overwhelming. First of all, that's for you to figure out. But for me, for me, what happens is I have to go to, coincidentally, and quite beautifully, now that I realize it, it kind of just entered my mind perfectly, was to find the highest excitement as, as Bashar talks about, and I've been posting his content all the time, late, lately, it's really been into it. And the highest excitement for me is to create this video, and it's really been helping me just talk about it, just talk about it, just talk about it. Do what you gotta do to experience your highest excitement, to experience joy, energy in a different form. Physicality, maybe you have to do something like talking, physically talking to get it out. Or some people who are very into physical fitness, go run, go, you know, jump, do jumping jacks, push-ups, do clapping push-ups. The other day, two days ago, I just pulled out like 10, 10 uh, explosive push-ups to clap, you know, clap push-ups. And I don't, you know, I, I never practiced that and I just, I was flying like, the clap was like four inches off the ground. My body was like, whoop, whoop, whoop. So when you find, 
when you find the the physical mechanism to help you, you will realize that it's pretty extraordinary in itself, right? Because I pulled off 10 of those things when really I didn't even know I could do one. I just was like, okay, I need to do something right now. I get down on the ground, do some push-ups, and it feels great. really does. So when you're stuck in physicality, you have to be stuck in physicality, so to speak. You cannot try to go off in another place. You cannot expect things to occur to you. You cannot... You cannot have that sense of necessity for things that just are not going to be there at the time, right? That's the source of a lot of problems in people, is expectation. But physicality, man, I'm just stretching a little bit. My back, it's kind of re-energizing myself. I'm going to go play basketball right after this. Again, jump around, move my physical body, re-energize myself, ground myself, breathe in the prana, breathe in the the energy of the earth with my feet exploding off the ground, jumping, playing basketball, all that stuff. That's what I'm going to go do. It works for me. Try it yourself. It's what a lot of people do to get out of depression. It's what I did to get out of a depressed state in my past. Go for it. And uh, we'll see you later.